Hey everybody, as we close off this wonderful semester, I am so excited for winter break and it's coming up soon. And today's video is all about recapping everything we learned this week. And it's titled Memorable Moment Ideas for the Holidays. So let's begin. So this week's theme, this past week, we've talked a lot about how to create memorable moments. And we went through five different videos, all right? So four different before this video. The first video we talked about on Monday was the power of memorable moments. We talked about as you go through life, always look to create memorable moments as a person and as a leader. Whoever's around you, look to create memorable moments. We talked about, let's be real, life is awesome, but life can also be sometimes mundane. It can be boring. So the challenge is instead of waiting for memorable moments to happen to us, we as people and leaders, and as family members should actively create memorable moments for ourselves and for other people. So ultimately another big why is the reason why we do what we do, the reason why we intentionally try to create memorable moments is to really show love and make others feel loved and special. And we need more of that more than ever right now. All right. So keep that in mind. So recap of this week on Tuesday, we talked about examples of memorable moments and always remember, Effort is everything. So as you're creating memorable moments, your effort really is gonna pay off. The more effort you put in, the better your moment can be, potentially. Use your resources. You have so much access to so many different ideas and resources and so many opportunities. Um, so really think about everything around you and use your resources. Remember, it's less about what you do and more about who you spend your time with. So as you go through the holidays, don't really worry about doing this big thing for your family, right? Just think about how can I spend more quality time with them? And what are some cool things we can do that we haven't done in the past? We talked about the who, what, why method. And once again, like check out that video if you want more information on how to create memorable moments. Here are some ideas. So you may want to pause it here and or take a screenshot of some ideas that I suggest you try. You don't have to do all of them, but try one of them over winter break. Winter break, though it's two weeks, it's gonna pass by so quick. So we need to intentionally plan some of these ideas over the winter break for our families. We can do family game night. We can write handwritten gratitude notes to each other. Try that, write a note. We can print out fun questions to ask our family over dinner, right? And just have someone pick a question and then have them ask it and then create some dialogue. You can create something for your home. How cool would it be to paint something or to create an item for your home so you can always remember this holiday season. You can take nice pictures. Just have everyone dress up, stand like maybe in your backyard or in or by your pool or something like that, like a nice place and just take a photo. And I'm telling you, you don't have to go anywhere nice. Just, just have a somewhat of a decent backdrop and you should be good to go. Make a music video together. Okay, this one's kind of out there and I don't think most people are gonna do this one, but try it. It's kind of out there, but it's gonna be so memorable. Take a walk, go biking, and find a reason to go out. But more than anything, take a look at the last bullet point. Spend a day doing what your family likes to do. Wednesday, we talked about fun is intentional, and I gave you three examples of, in my life, how all memorable moments came from some kind of intentionality and or plan. So whenever you plan things, you don't have to plan all the way through. Just create something to do, and you'll create a memorable moment as you do that by being intentional, by planning things out, by putting in effort, there's a higher chance of creating a memorable moment. So that's why we do what we do. Fun requires effort and fun is intentional. Yesterday we talked about Disneyland and the whole idea was what makes Disneyland so special and how can we use that to create memorable moments on our own? So in my opinion, there's three things that makes Disneyland awesome. A great design, attention to details, and how different it is than normal life. So as you go through life, take everything that Disneyland does well and put it into whatever events you're doing in your life. How can you take a normal forgettable experience and, and make it into a memorable moment? And finally, in summary, this winter break, you, yes, you, create a memorable moment with your family. Two, plan things out, brainstorm, get creative, have a plan so that it actually happens. And number three, take time to do it, regardless of the result, be grateful. It may flop, but it's all good. You, you did it and everyone will appreciate you for that. Remember, it's less about what you do and more about spending time with your loved ones.
I do what I do and I do these podcasts really to help you get the most out of life. So I truly hope that this has been helpful and I truly hope that you have a wonderful winter break. Be safe. Take care. Bye.